In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. Trust me guys, all of these steps are super easy to follow, so therefore please make sure to watch the whole entire video. If you guys wanna support my content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel right now, this would help me out so, so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Hey guys, what I want to show you here actually in the first place is a tool called Windows 10 Privacy and where you can find this program is quite easy guys, just simply scroll down a little bit until you find my Discord link. I'm gonna put this program here literally on my Discord, you can get it straight up from there and it's super super easy and once you get it here actually on your desktop guys, just simply unpack it, you know, like just go here with WinRAR or whatever you guys are using it, you know, just like here, open it up and then drag the exit onto your desktop and once you get it here, we're just simply gonna go through the installation process, click OK here, next, agree. I would recommend you to go for the portable installation because you can just simply select any um, destination folder you want here. So for me, I just chose here Windows 10 on my desktop, you know, just browse here, go into this PC, desktop, Windows 10, it should be somewhere here. Press OK and then you can install it. I obviously already did it, so I'm not gonna do it here. And once we got it, just simply open up the folder, then you have Windows 10 privacy, and then we're just simply gonna launch it here. And it's gonna tell us here, and now it's just simply gonna scan your whole entire PC for firewall settings and all that stuff. And it instantly also asks you if you wanna create a restore point before. Um, I know what I'm doing, so therefore I'm not gonna do it here right now real quick, because more or less how this program works, all the settings here which are green are like diagnostics or like I don't know like temporary folders stuff like that which you can normally disable without any issues I don't know something like disable asking for feedback send request Microsoft feedback frequency to never you know these are all like services just running in the background giving Microsoft feedback if I don't know application crashes or if they do like a new update and they just want some measurements from your PC you don't want to have this because it's just gonna put like a workload onto your PC you know like we're not here to actually like give them data for free and stuff like that. Um, then we're just gonna go here from the top, disable the active history, we can definitely disable that. Then next up, disable the execution of experiments with the system by Microsoft, disabling, disable application telemetry, also disabled, 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 disabled. Pretty much everything which is green here, you can just straight up disable. Send only basic data to Microsoft, also really good guys, because yeah, there are literally so many data in the background which are getting sent to Microsoft. Some people even still have this feature um, activated on their PC, but Microsoft can use their PC as a server for other people to download the updates, so please guys, make sure that you have all of these here disabled. Disabled autologger, disabled inventory collector. You know, it's all like just about collecting data and sending them to Microsoft, and this is what this program actually does here, guys. It just stops all these services here in the background, which is super nice. And then we're just gonna go here on set change settings. It's gonna tell us after um, confirming this message, the program will restart the desired settings. And now it's just putting all the settings in there, guys. It's just gonna take like a few seconds actually real quick. And afterwards, you should probably restart your PC just to make sure that everything is working 100%. So as you can see, we're done here now. Everything is disabled successfully. We're just gonna simply close the program here. And now you can actually already just delete it because we don't need it from here on, you know? It's like a one, one step thing. And now let's continue with the next point. The next up, guys, I'm gonna now show you how to actually disable a few really unnecessary services on Windows 11 and Windows 10. It's the same for both guys here and all you have to do is just simply go into your window search bar and type in privacy until you find the privacy settings just simply open it up and here on windows 11 it's actually a little bit bugged you have to again click here on privacy and security on the left and now you can scroll down a little bit until you find all the app permissions and there you can see like stuff here like i don't know notifications guys which you literally don't need because like i don't know like these are just like unnecessarily you know like every time you get a message or some stuff like that you just get a little notification down there you can do go down even more calendar just simply disable it as well then we're gonna continue over here with contacts no one uses contacts here actually on windows i don't know a single person which actually uses the mail app here on windows 11 straight up then next up, just scroll down here, then you have phone calls. Tell me please, who's doing like phone calls on his windows? I don't know guys, like not a single person to be honest. And then we have call history. We can just go like straight up through every single of these here guys and just make sure that they're all like disabled here. We're just gonna disable each and every one of these here guys because we don't need this. This is just like unnecessary services in the background running, you know putting up actually some huge workload onto our Windows system, costing us important um, performance. So therefore here, especially app diagnostics, these are all just like services, um, which are gonna send like data to Microsoft for them to improve the apps. But yeah, it's just gonna run consistently in the background. So therefore we obviously don't want it guys documents also just gonna disable it it's a little bit bugged so you have to like every time scroll down and kind of like remember where you were right now 
radio also gonna put this off and yeah guys after we disabled most of these the only few things which i would actually leave on are um, download folders pictures videos system files those are like the only ones which i would actually leave here and besides that you can disable every one of these here and yeah we're already done here with this step as well and yeah guys now i'm actually going to show you how to disable the windows search service which is probably the application which is taking up the most amount of ram in the background and all you guys have to do is go into your windows search bar and type in services until you find the services application just simply open it up and now you get this huge list here with all the applications which are running in the background here on windows and just simply press w key on your keyboard until you find already your wallet services so we just skipped here all the way already through to the w section and now we're just going to scroll down a little bit until we find windows search and there we already see it guys we're just simply going to double click onto it and we can see that the service is right now running so we first of all going to click here on to stop so the service is actually shutting down here and then for the startup type we're going to put it from automatic to disabled and once we ensure ourselves that it's disabled, just simply press apply here, press OK, and you already fully disabled it. And trust me, you're going to see such a huge improvement in performance. And yeah, guys, now I'm going to show you another step here. Actually, in your Fortnite settings, what you can do to potentially get more FPS, because this is a really tricky part. Once we go into our settings, you can see here in the first place here, our graphic settings. And so many people have been telling me that when they push their textures on high, they actually receive more FPS since your GPU is working harder and therefore you can like kind of reduce this normal bottleneck which is built into Fortnite because Fortnite can't utilize even 100% of your GPU. That's just simply how it works here guys. Fortnite is still a really broken game. So therefore tons of people actually put their um, textures on high or even on epic to get like more FPS. You gotta test it out for yourself. I don't know how beneficial it is on like a low end PC or like a medium to low end PC. So if you wanna maybe test it out for yourself, just let me know down in the comment section below what GPU you're running, what CPU, and if you're actually getting more FPS on high or low. This would help me with so, so much, guys. Other than that, guys, please also utilize the alpha performance mode with low meshes. So many Fortnite pro players are switching right now to low meshes since it's just such an amazing FPS boost, guys, and it's reducing your input delay as well. So therefore, if you really wanna get zero input delay in season eight, you gotta play at least on like low meshes. And as mentioned in every single optimization guide guys, always put your song quality on low as well because if you get it on high you can actually get some additional stutter, Epic Games employees themselves confirmed this and also put your visualized sound effects feature here on off because you don't need it, you can just listen for yourself, it's gonna put a workload onto your game and yeah with that said just apply those settings guys here real quick and yeah you already applied it. And yeah guys this is it for today's video, if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace